for local potato farmers. An influx of cheap potato products from overseas may mean the shutdown of their businesses. It disadvantages us as, as farmers. The consumer end up, ends up buying cheaper potatoes that are being dumped into South Africa. So I end up not progressing in business. I, I don't just fund for fun. I expect to make profits. I need to pay my employees and so on. The anti-dumping duties were implemented in January 2016 and expired in early 2021. The aim was to buffer local farmers from cheaper imports and to ring fence the local potato industry. This led to a year-on-year -year decline of more than 60% on frozen chip imports up until 2020. The lack of further protection of farmers by government has led to a decline in the number of potato producers and even more fear of the impact predatory trade practices will have on the sector. The large commercial farmers, around about 500 farmers in South Africa, and that changed quite drastically from the 90s where we were looking at 3,000. So there's really a big burden on us to, 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 to rectify this. Farmers are calling for the trade levies to be made permanent. If we can't do commodities in South Africa and um, add value to that, it is a big problem not only for the farmers but also for the people working on the farm, people working in those factories. So between NAMEC and DTI and so on, they really need to have a look, serious look and keep this and get this levy permanent. South Africa's independent regulator, the International Trade Administration Commission, is responsible for overseeing that such trade tariffs are monitored and reinstated as necessary. It has so far not responded to our requests for comment. Nozindombi Mia, SABC News. The Western Cape.